Hello, welcome to Life with Kiari, Alana and Robin. How is everyone? It's been quite a while since we've made a video. Uh, life just gets in the way sometimes and I'm sure you all know how that is. Um, what have we been up to? Man, I feel like a lot's been going on. Well, welcome to the family. We got this handsome fella, Wyatt. Wyatt. You want to move your arm a bit and show him his face? <laughs> Trying to. This there is Wyatt. Go. Say hi, Wyatt. He's our new... <laughs> he's, the, he's our newest addition to the family. He's a three-year-old standard poodle. Apricot. Apricot and... We're in love. We're so in love. We love this guy so much. And as you can see, he's a happy pup. And he's a perfect therapy dog. He has been the best companion animal. He's been welcomed at our house. To both sure. of us. I mean, yeah. I cannot tell you, like, having having chronic illness and spending a lot of time in bed and alone and all of that, like Getting a dog like this has just been wonderful. You know, it just it helps to ease the loneliness a little bit, brings smiles to our faces. Lots of laughter. Keeps Lots us calm. Joy. I mean, he really Even is when great. We're down and hurting. It's wonderful. He's great. We wanted to introduce him. Um, he was excited yes, to be in the video is. today. Yes. Wyatt. Wyatt. Actually, it's funny his name, he came with the name Wyatt Earp. Uh, he's not much of a Wyatt Earp. He's very scared of everything. <laughs> he's a gentle giant. He is my gentle giant. Um, but yeah, other than that, so what else? Um, you can tell him a little bit about... Mm. Well, welcome to uh, EDS Awareness Month. And to honor that, I decided uh, to have blown out my knee and had to have knee surgery. So, whoop, whoop. Mm. So yeah, <laughs> not, not been good. <laughs> we wanted to talk a bit about EDS today, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It is EDS Awareness Month and also Syringomyelia Awareness Month. So we're going to cover a little bit of both of those in this video today. Uh, do you want to tell them about Robin here, my mom? She has EDS. Yes. I have not been tested, but I am actually working on looking for a geneticist to get tested because, you know, it runs in the family, and I worry sometimes that I might have also, I might also have EDS. Yeah. Um, you want to tell them a bit about your story with EDS? Well, <clears throat> yeah, EDS is a no walk in the park. Um, I have a lot of dislocations. Um, I've already had two shoulder surgery. A hip surgery. Um, this is the third time I've blown out my knee, but this time it ended me up right into surgery. Um, should we show? You want to show? It's looking good <laughs> look, now. Look away if you don't like incisions it's or not uh, bad. stitches. It's, just a stitches. it's not too bad, but here it's, you go. Yeah, here. You, you want to give him a good look there? Yeah, we don't have much light. Oh, oh, oh why, it's why it's gonna help? You. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's yeah, just it's it was orthoscopic, so, so, so just two little side incisions. A lot of bruising, a lot of swelling, but it's almost two weeks now, and the uh, pain's starting to be manageable. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, that's just part of uh, what I have to deal with uh, with EDS. Uh, constant, uh, they call it sublect. Well, dislocations, dislocations subluxations. A lot of popping of joints and popping out of joints. I'll tell you a bit. So Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is a connective tissue disorder. It affects, you know, everything that holds the body together, the collagen, the joints. Uh, so people with EDS often have a lot of joint issues. They might be hyperflexible, have stretchy skin. Hypermobility Those are is hypermobility, part Hypermobility, yeah. Yes. Um, the problem is the joints don't always stay in place. They sublex, they dislocate. Um, it, it also can just, EDS can cause a lot of whole body pain, fatigue, all sorts of symptoms that mm -hmm. go along. Um, I believe we're up to 13 different types or subtypes of EDS. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but that was the last I looked. Right, just comment below if you uh, know any more about EDS than what we're saying. If you'd like to... Just, you know, have some input. Share your story with it. Um, it's yeah. definitely, it's becoming more known, but, you know, I think it's important to get that awareness out there. Because yes, um, a lot of people with Chiari 
tend to have EDS. Oh yeah, EDS and Chiari go hand, hand in hand. hand. A mm -hmm. lot of it's you see a lot of it together. And, you know, um, it's one of those lesser known, Oops. sorry, we're passing the we're camera passing. over, my arms are getting tired. Yes, um, and we're on the waterbed too. We're on a waterbed, sorry if it's a little, you feel like you're yeah. at sea. I'm old, I'm old fashioned. But, uh, <laughs> sorry. a little, you're cutting our okay. head, there cutting our go. heads off here. Okay. Huh. Um, so yeah, what was I saying? Ah, brain fog. Brain fog. Um, oh, we should get the so wheel. so yeah. Um, but basically, like EDS is, it's not very known. A lot of people go years without being diagnosed. Doctors not knowing what's wrong with them. Or been misdiagnosed. Misdiagnosed. It's frustrating. It's really frustrating, and it can get discouraging when you're going to doctor after doctor, and people don't, and they don't know what's wrong with you. People start feeling like they're crazy. People are told they're crazy because doctors can't figure it out and this is why it's important to get that awareness out there um, mm -hmm. people need to be correctly diagnosed so they can get the help they need so how many years till you were diagnosed oh I wasn't diagnosed till let's see maybe eight years ago eight years ago eight years ago and, and you're how old if you don't mind sharing <laughs> next month I will be 59 um, so and I've suffered all my life with problems and been misdiagnosed. So, and then I wasn't diagnosed till I had my Chiari surgery and still knew nothing about it. And several years later, I saw another doctor who looked at me after examining me and told me I had EDS. And then it started from there, me learning about EDS. Yeah, so. So yeah, I mean, and she's been suffering. When did you start having problems? You said in childhood. Yeah, that's my life. I mean, with the Chiari, with the EDS, with all these problems, yeah. like um, Here we go. it was just years of suffering okay. before anyone could figure it out, and it, it's just sad. We we need doctors to be more aware of these diseases and look out for them, so people can get care. Um, okay, I'll take it over. Teamwork. Yes. Our arms get tired. <laughs> uh, the other thing is syringomyelia. It's syringomyelia awareness month as well. And I have I have syringomyelia. I do not. She does not. No. <laughs> syringomyelia also goes with Chiari. I think I've seen different statis statistics. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen up to maybe like 50% of people with Chiari have syringomyelia. But um, again, more research is needed. None of these disorders have a cure. There's no fix, and doctors aren't very familiar with them, and you know it just um, it just makes it so hard to get the treatment you need when no one knows about it. So what is syringomyelia? Syringomyelia is a cyst of fluid in your spinal cord. Yeah. Um, you got it. Yep. I'm so sorry about the rockiness of the camera today. Yeah. <laughs> we but um so so basically the um right there sorry yep okay. let's adjust a little bit bear with us oh i don't know what's happening here there we go um syringomyelia is when cerebral spinal fluid so cerebral spinal fluid is the fluid that goes up around the brain and all the way down around the spinal cord and um protects it protects the brain and spinal cord so with Chiari, yeah. the, um, with my Chiari, it got plugged up. So my cerebral spinal fluid wasn't flowing correctly and ended up going down into my spinal cord where there's not supposed to be anything in your spinal cord. Um, what it did is it stretched out and ballooned out and caused some major nerve <clears throat> damage for me, unfortunately. Um, people can have different size. They call it a syrinx. Um, Sometimes they're really small little pockets of fluid, but in my case, it was um, all the way from C, C1, which is up in your cervical spine, all the way down to L2. So I had a syrinx just the whole length down, which then caused, you know, um, my whole left side of my body went numb. My, uh, oh, 
I can't even think. I have so many symptoms. I don't even know if I have time to go through it. But I mean, it's just, it's a horrible disease. It really causes, like, I was using, I was losing use of my left leg. I was, before my surgery, I was quickly going paralyzed. Yeah. Um, it can lead to paralysis. It Very can lead quick. to permanent nerve damage where you end up in a wheelchair. It can lead to... If not addressed, it can lead to some very serious problems, neurological issues. Um, constant pain, very painful disorder. Yeah. Yes. Um, lots of pain in my shoulders and arms and neck, whole body pain, nerves not acting, nerves not functioning correctly, uh, muscle spasms, you know, all of that. So, again... We're, we're trying to raise awareness for these disorders just so, you know, get that message out there. Doctors need to be aware. Yes. It needs to be diagnosed sooner. It needs Good to time. be diagnosed yeah. before. Yeah, sorry. I get, I get very passionate about these things. I mean, it's just... You should be. The level of frustration is unreal of not, not having any clear treatment, not having enough research, going to doctor after doctor who looks at you and goes like, I have no clue what to do with you because you have these rare diseases. And not just one. Oh, so many doctors. So many. I mean, I've been... I don't even know. I've lost count of how many doctors I've been to over the last several years. And I know in your lifetime... Mm. That have like Something. so I mean get the word out there it, it awareness is needed yes. and um, I don't know sorry we're rambling on today but it's, all right. uh, it's been a while so it's been a while we're back yeah please uh, comment with any questions share your story if you'd like mm -hmm. uh, just we love to hear back we love yes. to hear please like our videos if you, or subscribe, subscribe if you like, if you want to keep seeing more of what we do. We're going to try to get back on a regular schedule of doing videos. Uh, we really, you know, it's just, we really wanted to get this going again. Um, until then. Until then. Kiari salute. Yeah, we salute you. Kiari salute. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Yes, we'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye, Wyatt. He's oh, sleeping. Bye. Bye, Wyatt. He's excited and <laughs> sleeping. You all take care now. Bye.